everyone, well, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Hannah and today's video is going to be November's Crafting Club unboxing. So the Crafting Club is a crafting subscription box and inside each box you get a crafting, you get some snacks, some garnishes, some tonics, uh, kind of a few things to make cocktails and stuff with and a magazine. So it's a really fab service and I absolutely love receiving boxes. So you can sign up to get boxes every month, every two months or every quarter. So I actually signed up initially for every quarter so you get a box every three months. I then loved them so much that I then upped it to it every two months and now I'm getting a box every single month. So I did actually film my unboxing of September's Crafting Club box which was my previous box. So I'll link that up here if you haven't seen that, go and check that one out. And I cannot wait to open November's for you all. So I have now upgraded to monthly so there'll be a December box coming your way as well. But do make sure you're subscribed if you want to check out December's Crafting Club unboxing. So boxes usually cost four pounds however I do have a 16 pound off discount code so it's a referral friend code so if you do want to get your first box for only 24 pound which is such a good deal then make sure you use that link it's down in the description bar for you all uh, just click through and you can sign up it's also super easy to cancel so you're not like sort of tied in for a year or anything like that you can literally sign up for it if you just want one box get it actually it'd be a really good gift as well so you can also sign up for gift subscriptions so with Christmas coming up it would be a really foul Christmas gift as well so do check out the Craft Gym Club I'll leave all links below and I'll leave my referral friend code if you want to get £16 off your first box so without further ado I'm going to stop talking so I'm now going to get into the unboxing so all boxes come in these beautifully packaged cardboard boxes and they always have a different kind of colour theme so this one's obviously this beautiful turquoise colour and it's actually super heavy so there's probably quite a few bottles in here so let me get this open and we'll see what's inside oh okay it looks good great so let's start so on the top you get some snacks so the first thing I'm pulling out is the single estate Solomon Islands 69% cocoa fir tree rich volcanic chocolate so this is a bar of dark chocolate by the sounds of it so on the tasting notes at the back it says red fruit citrus and plum with enduring cocoa undertones to enjoy fully take time to let the flavors develop on the palate so i'm a massive chocoholic i love absolutely every chocolate and any chocolate i could literally eat it all day every day for the rest of my life probably this is very much a welcomed little snack in my box because i do love chocolate so this next snack is the Tyrrell's Popcorn Sweet and Salty and I've had Tyrrell's Crisp before, I'm not sure if I've ever had their popcorn before, I don't know if it's a new product they've just come out with, um, but these are only 115 calories per bag. So these are the uh, Sweet and Salty Popcorn, I really love this packaging, it's a beautiful like pink shade, as you can tell I do love my pinks. <laughs> and these are suitable for vegetarians which is great for me. And it's just a bag of popcorn, so I'm looking forward to trying those. I do love popcorn. And the final snack is a packet of Saver Smith's crisps. So we have actually had these in a previous box, and they were really delicious. Um, a different flavour, but uh, Saver Smith is a really nice brand. They are Somerset cheddar and shallot potato crisps, so they're slightly more posh than your typical cheese and onion crisps. And these are uh, luxurious hand-cooked British snacks. And they actually say proudly supporting Tusk. So I wonder if they have like a charity to support like elephants maybe. I'm wondering if it says anything on the back. They are proudly supporting Tusk. Uh, so Tusk supports innovative con conservation projects through Africa, protecting many threatened animals including elephants, lions and gorillas. With your generous support, Tusk can help both people and wildlife thrive across the continent. When you buy a bag of Saver Smith, Somerset Cheddar and Shallot, 10% of profits go towards Tusk conservation projects. That's a really fab initiative. I love when sort of brands give back as well. Everything else is just laying on the top of the box, but it's really well packaged in this bubble wrap at the top. So the first thing are our garnishes for the month. So this is lemon and cardamom. So you just get some dried lemon slices and some cardamom pods on there. So the first drink is this Fitch and Leeds bitter lemon. So this is obviously going to be a mixer for the gin. Um, I don't know if maybe you put this in the cocktail or if you just make sort of a normal gin with this. So we'll have to wait and see. But I've never heard of this Fitch and Leeds brand before. I do like their packaging. I do love a can. So the next mixer is the Fitch and Leeds Indian Tonic. And then we have something wrapped in paper. So this is our cocktail syrup and this is Savannah Spirit. So we've got a bit of an, like an African theme going on here because we've got the, the crisps that have that support Tusk, the conservation project in Africa. We've got a Savannah Spirit. Looking forward to that. I love their syrups and actually you can buy the syrups on the Craft Gin Club website as well, so it's fab. So this will kind of last you normally like two or three cocktails. 
um, depending on how much you need in each recipe. But you can buy them again on the Craft Gin Club because there was one a couple of months ago that I absolutely loved. It was like a gin colada flavour. And you can actually now buy like a 500ml bottle of the syrup. So, oh, it's fabulous. That was like the best summer cocktail I've ever had. Right, so moving on, we also have... Oh, a little bottle of Amarula. Can you see that? Oh, it's adorable. Look how cute that is. So this is a cream Amarula fruit. So I don't actually think I've ever had Amarula before. It contains milk and soya. And I think Amarula is supposed to be like a like a cream liqueur. And again, it's got the a little elephant on. So I'm definitely thinking there's going to be an African theme to this gin. Maybe it's like produced in South Africa or something. Who knows? Um, but I'm looking forward to trying that. Maybe this goes in the cocktail as well. We'll have to wait and see. So another big bottle here. It's upside down. So this is a bottle of drink and it's Mangojo Caffeine Free Wellbeing Wonder Red Grape and Ruibos. <laughs> Ruibos? I always struggle with that word. And it's got no added sugar and it contains naturally occurring fruit and apple juice sugars. So the next one is wrapped up and this is Two Keys Mixer. It looks like this. It's got the most amazing packaging. It's got this absolutely fabulous rhino with like a cheetah print on it. It's so cool, but it's amazing. So this is a lemon mixer. Um, so a sparkling lemon flavoured soft drink made with real lemon juice. So again, this has got a rhino on it and it's like cheetah print. And they also donate 5% of sales to Tusk. And then for the final mixer, we have a another can of the Indian Tonic by Fitch and Leeds. So another great thing about these boxes is you get to try so many different brands of tonic. Like there's so many tonic brands out there. When you go to your standard supermarket, you kind of only get the like most popular ones. But there are some really great smaller producers of tonics in these soft drinks. So it's definitely worth shopping around, looking on the Craft Gym website, and just seeing if you can get any of the tonics because they are all really fab. And then finally we have the gin. So it comes in the um, protective packaging and I can already kind of see the bottle looks amazing. I'm going to try and pull this out. Wow, look at that bottle. I'm trying to show it to you without getting the reflection of my ring light. It's an absolutely beautiful see-through glass bottle with a little cork lid. Oh, it's such a beautiful shade bottle. Quite similar to the Perfume Trees bottle as well, actually. So this is Orient. So it's by Pinar and Son, uh, which were established in 2015. And this is called Orient. Eastern Spices and Fresh Citrus. Original handcrafted spirit made in Cape Town. So I was right, yay! So it's uh, from South Africa. So that's amazing. Cape Town is one of the places I would absolutely love to visit. Oh, this gin looks absolutely beautiful. So it's a handcrafted gin from grain to bottle. At Pinar and Sun, we strive to produce beautifully crafted gin from start to finish. This means we ferment and distill everything in Cape Town. You're about to enjoy a unique gin made from South African maize, infused with botanicals that have been carefully selected to pay homage to the Eastern Spice trade that influence Cape Town culture and cuisine alike. A refreshing, uninhibited gin packed with spice and citrus, sweet vanilla and mandarin orange notes complement the fiery cassia, ginger and allspice in this truly bold and inspired gin. Please enjoy. This sounds incredible. It's got so many amazing flavours in there and botanicals that I absolutely love. I really love like a really spicy gin. Cannot wait to try that. And that is going to look beautiful on my bar cart. Right, so now that everything's unboxed, I'm going to quickly give you a flick through the magazine and just show you the cocktails and just explain a bit more about the gin. So this is the beautiful magazine this month. Again, trying to show you without getting a ring light on it. It's so difficult to film now with how bad the lighting is nowadays. And if we just give a flip, quick flick through this magazine, I can just show you the cocktail of the month and thing. So that is everything all laid out there, everything you get. So as I said earlier, each box is £40 and this box is worth over £72. So that's fab. So you save a lot of money. It's so nice to just receive like a present every month through the box. I'm, I'm a sucker for a subscription. I absolutely love subscription boxes. So I just love the surprise element really. So it tells you a bit more about the uh, gin company there, but I did read that on the side of the box, so I'm not going to go through that again. And it tells you how to make the perfect G&T using this gin here. So I absolutely love these gin glasses. 
you can see how beautiful that gin glass is. Now I did, so the Craft Gin Club do actually have a Facebook group that you can join if you're a member. And I did actually ask where they got these glasses from because I absolutely love them. And they are that LSA brand. Um, so I'm going to be popping a few of those on my Christmas list this year. Hopefully I get them because I just love those glasses. They're absolutely beautiful. So to make the perfect gin tea with the Pinar and Sun Orient Gin, you need to use 50 ml of the gin. 200 ml of Indian tonic. So that is one can of this. Yep, it's there 200 ml, so one can of this. And lemon and cardamom to garnish. And then fill the glass with ice, add your gin, top up with tonic, stir and enjoy. So that's how you make the perfect gin tea. And then this side, you can make a Savannah Spritz, which is the cocktail of the month. So to make the Savannah Spritz, you need 50 ml of the gin, 25 ml of the cocktail set, which is this one here, 100 ml of the two keys lemon mixer and lemon and rosemary to garnish so actually i've got lemon in the fridge and i've got a rosemary plant in my garden so i cannot wait to try that i'm definitely going to be pouring myself one of those after i film this video the magazine then goes on to tell you a bit more about cape town so i'm definitely going to be looking at this because like i said earlier i would love to visit cape town i've been to zambia and that was one of the most humbling and incredible experiences of my life I actually went, um, when I was in sixth form, we went on like a missionary trip. We went over there and taught English and maths to school children, which was an absolutely incredible experience. So it then tells you more about Kruger National Park, which again, I would love to go to, Johannesburg. Oh, look how beautiful that looks with those beautiful uh, blossom trees there. Absolutely amazing. So it then tells you about Fitch and Leeds, which is the tonic brand that we've received. And then it goes on to tell you a bit more about other cocktails you can make with this gin. So we've got a fig and vanilla highball. Look at that. That looks amazing. A Cape Town Blossom. Oh, that sounds good. A gin Cape Cap Caperitif. Caperitif. Um, I don't know what that is. Caperitif. An olive oil martini as well you can make. That sounds bizarre. I don't know how I feel about that, but I don't know if I'd want to have olive oil in my uh, martini. Uh, apple and cinnamon gimlet, that looks lovely and autumnal. Okay, and then it tells you about Amarula. So, it's a delicious cream liqueur suffused with the flavour of the marula fruit, a uniquely African fruit that elephants love to snack on. So that's what Amarula is, and it tells you how to make an Amarula cross grasshopper it tells you how to make an amarula grasshopper as well and then you've got some more information um, about more cocktails that they're calling these ones the big five so they're all like the big five animals so you've got the lion the rhino the elephant the leopard the cape buffalo and you just get so many amazing recipes in here about all different cocktails you can make um, you even have food in here you can make a rooibos martini with gin vanilla syrup lemon juice the red grape and rooibos tea soft drink and lemon or orange peel to garnish. So that is everything for November's Craft Gin Club unboxing video. I hope you liked this video. Please do let me know what you think of it. And if you've signed up to the Craft Gin Club, did you get this month's box? What did you think? Have you tried the cocktail yet? Let me know. And I cannot wait to receive December's box. I actually think I might have to upgrade my bar cart because I now have... 20 gins I want to say I've got so many gins and they are very jam-packed I don't even know if there's enough space to fit this one in so I might have to have a bit of a reshuffle and maybe I might get a new bar cart for Christmas that might be exciting thanks so much for watching go and pour yourselves a G&T and enjoy the rest of your day bye